going to Angie's Craft Corner. Today we are going to do a simple, easy Christmas card. And I, I've used the corner page for this off of Pinterest. And the link is below and is on my lot blog. And I am just tracing it onto a piece of white card stock with a orange colored erasable pencil. Where I can see my lines where I've been over it. And when I got get this done, we get more tracing. So I'm going just to, and I use carbon paper for this, and just as easily as possible traced it as good as I can. After I got done tracing it, I went ahead with a Sharpie Black Ultra Fine Marker and retraced it to make it look like it was stamped on my my cardstock. And this is, you know, it's time consuming, but if you don't have Christmas stamps but want to make some uh, cheap Christmas cards, this is the way I would do it. Yes, it is time consuming. I'll be the first one to admit that. But it was fun doing. With it, you know, the um, magic of YouTube, um, I skipped a bunch of this of um, taping. Well, I taped it and cut it out. But anyways, we are going to use our, my, I'm using my spectral markers now to pull the image in. And I'm starting out with DR4, the red, for the bow and the uh, blueberries, whatever they are called. Can't think of what they are called this morning. And I'm just calling it in with the alcohol markers. Now you can use water based markers if you want. That, you know, is up to you. Everybody has their own per uh, perfect set of markers that they like to use, the Copics, whatever. I like my Spectre Normals. And I unfolded the cord where it was it going to bleed through of me coloring the image. And, uh, I mean, that was no glue, no tape, just ink and paper for this. Now, if you don't have a printer and you still want to do this, you could, um, if you got a tablet, your phone, laptop, you can use it as a light box and trace over the image. It's a little bit harder to do, but it's still, it is durable. And I'm, like I said, I'm just going in with uh, my Spectre Normals and coloring it in the images. And I just used three corners for the whole project, except the Sharpie or Define. Now, if you don't have a, sh a Sharpie and you have a black, prominent marker, use it. That's what I had on hand. Um, my black Spectre Normal is not looking too hot. So I don't use it a whole lot. And it felt it felt good to color again on cardstock. It's been a while. Now I did this also with that water corners. And I like I liked it too. So I mean you can use either one. I just thought I would give something I mean do something a little bit different today with this Christmas corn. And uh, I just used a neat Nina uh eight and a half by eleven and cut it in half, made it um five and a half by eight and a half. And folded it in half, and it gave me a full a full quarter card. You can get two out of one sheets of cardstock. And I'm doing some touch-ups that I missed. 
that happens. With me, anyways. Now I'm going in with the green, and it is a DG4 to do the holly bush uh, leaves. And it was a little bit darker than I wanted, but I was fine with it once it was all done. I mean, you could go with a three, probably. Maybe even a two. Uh, no, uh, maybe a three. Or you can use whatever green you want or what the green you have. I mean, it's mainly using what you've got on hand. The puppies are all doing good. They are growing like a little weed. They're about two weeks old now. They eat constantly. I mean, constantly. Every time I look in the cage, they are eating, it seems like. Tootsie and Jessie's doing good. They just fought. They are just fought rotten. I guess they both asleep. They should I should be asleep. It's like three forty three in the morning. On the Saturday morning. Thankfully I don't have no crops or nothing to go to today. I get sleepy. <laughs> That's all I can say. My days and nights and evenings and it's all straight up since this time change. I do not like it. At all. Does anybody else like this time change getting dark at 5 o'clock? It's depressing to me. And then we've had cl cloudy days, so it's really been depressing to me. But I guess it's a good time to do videos because nobody's bothering you. Excuse me. Now I'm going in with a GB9 spectacle to coloring the bells. It's a goldish brown. And it's darker than what I really wanted. But like I said, I already marked on it when I realized it was not going to color darker than what I thought. And I, I stuck with it. It came out good. I mean... And the darker you want something with the alcohol markers, just keep on coloring over it and it, it will get darker. That's one of the things I do like about the alcohol marker and they look so smooth when you put them on paper. And I did turn my paper, make it easy on me to do the coloring, painting, whatever I'm doing. Now I colored over these bells a couple of times because I did not like, I've seen streaks and all and I didn't want, that wasn't what I was going for. And I printed this out at uh, three and a half by four, five, I don't know. I'll look. Um, eight. Let's see, what did we print these out at? Three, three and a half by five. You can get four on one page. To make it the size I wanted for the card. And like I said, the card is five and a half by eight and a half. And that 
divides into four and a quarter by five and a half. And like I said, this is time consuming with all the tracing and all, but it was fun. And um, I enjoyed doing it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe to us. If you want to see more Christmas cards, definitely subscribe to us because we are doing a video a week on just Christmas cards. I hope y'all have a blessed day. And we love you. Bye.